Former New York Governor George Pataki became the latest Republican to join the crowded GOP presidential race. He is not a well-known name in San Diego, but as KUSI Sasha Fu found out, maybe that doesn't matter. His name is George Pataki, and he is number eight, the eighth person so far to announce their candidacy for the GOP presidential nomination. It is time to stand up, protect our freedom, and take back this government. The former three-term governor of New York State is not well known outside the Northeast. He hasn't held public office since 2006. But Pataki's lack of name recognition may not be a huge obstacle. Who is that? Can't be Jeb Bush. As a social experiment, we wanted to find out if the other seven names in the GOP field would be recognized either. We sat down at a busy corner in North Park with a test. If you can name half of the presidential candidates that I'm going to show you, I will give you 50 cents. <laughs> Here's a look at how that experiment went. Casado McDevitt gave it a shot. Uh, Ted Buchanan? No. Sarah Thor gave it a pretty good try. Who is that? <laughs> and who is this? <laughs> Don't know? Scott Marquis got a few right. Who is that? Huckabee. Huckabee. Um, he actually ran twice before. But he was wide of the mark on others. Think of a beetle, a first name Paul. That's a bad clue. For the record, that's Rand Paul. Nate Dowd knew some of the faces, but the names, well. He's the person is from, his parents are Cuban, and I can't remember his name. Pataki and Fiorina, Huckabee and Cruz, also Carson and Paul, and Rubio and Santorum. That's uh, way too many faces. <laughs> A lot of people feel that way. Yeah, too many. None of them exactly household names, at least not yet, but then it's early. How about this one? Nope. Political analyst John Dadian says the field will start to shake out after the early polls in Iowa and New Hampshire. I will agree that if you ask the average man or woman in the street in San Diego, they could not identify any, if only one or two, of the Republican candidates. I'll bet you the average person in Iowa can. The test for every candidate will be money. But how will voters make those donations if they're not sure what name to write on the check? I think where they're going right now as far as the strategy to win primaries, I think they're right on the market. Any of these Republicans could win. Associated with a fish taco restaurant in San Diego. Oh, okay. Um... Fish tacos. Marco. Rubio. Ding, 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 ding. I saved my money, my 50 cents. No one succeeded in naming four out of eight. And oh yeah, I threw in a couple of other faces just for fun. You vote for him? LeBron James? What about him? Would you vote for him? Uh, if he was acting to be president, he might do a better job than some of the candidates, maybe. Would you vote for him? Clint Eastwood? No, I'd, I'd vote for Donald Trump. Sorry, I tried. You, I'll give you 50, I'll give you a quarter. Want you want a quarter? To, I don't want a dime, thank you. <laughs> From North Park, Sasha Fu, KUSI News.